Hello, I will be doing a printing demo for Drive Point in Taiwil. And uh, I'll start off first by explaining what I'll do. Uh, obviously, you need to have your materials first, uh, have a workspace to where it'll be easy to clean up. I spread out this paper here for that reason. Uh, have your plexiglass uh, for, to draw your, your stencil on. And to be able to do that, you, uh, it comes with, uh, use this tool to scratch out uh, anything that you want to have detail in. Because whatever is scratched on here, when transferred onto the paper, will end up being what's colored. So you want, uh, want to uh, scratch off anything that you want to have details to see it. Uh, I will be scratching it out uh, before I start any of the other processes. That way I can just go ahead and go on to whatever I need to next. Anyways, uh, the rest that I have here, uh, I have my spatula. That way whenever I take out the ink and I spread it out, uh, I can use it to get the ink on it, spread it over the plexiglass, my stencil. And reason for this spoon here, that way, in case it doesn't want to come out, just take it out and then put it on to the paper. And I have paper here uh, for obvious reasons to put the stencil uh, that has the ink onto the paper. And we have this spoon here, this wooden spoon for when I do apply the paper, uh, you're able to apply pressure around the paper uh, so that the ink will be transferred onto the paper. And I sadly don't have a roller myself, uh, one in printmaking, uh, but this one will do for me. And for my previous edition on this one, I thought it worked pretty well. Of course, um, other than that, we have the water to apply to the paper to dampen it when putting on the ink and applying pressure. And, of course, the obvious thing I haven't set out yet is uh, newspaper type paper to be able to clean off the ink after spreading it on the plexiglass. That way, all you have left is the ink inside the grooves I ended up scratching. So, these will be the materials I will be using for this demo. And uh, I'll start off with the scratching. So, in terms of what I need to fix uh, or apply to uh, my addition here, um, I need to add scratches along this, the arm here to have less of an outline of the arm. So I will be doing that. And from there on, I will get to the inking process. So uh, after completing your uh, scratching onto it, which I have just done right here. Uh, I will continue now to uh, the inking process. I have my paper here and the materials I will be using to uh, apply it to the paper. So, and I sadly do not have disposable gloves, but you should wear some if you want to uh, handle this with care and not get any ink on your uh, uh, papers. Uh, so, uh, I will be using my hands, uh, but when I'm putting on the paper, I will have gloves on as to not to get on the paper. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to start uh, with your ink, obviously, a special type of ink to be applied to this. And uh, like I said before, sometimes it may not want to come out, which is coming out pretty fast, so I don't, do not think I'll need the spoon. Uh, I'll stop it right there. Okay. And with that, I will use my spatula to spread it across my um, plexiglass here. Grab that. Remember, you want to have it even throughout the entirety of this. Because if not, 
uh, you're going to get either some not going or some ink not going into the areas you want them to, uh, and some were. It's just going to take a lot harder to get off if you apply too much in a certain area or uh, and don't evenly coat it. And obviously, I'm going top to bottom with the uh, process of covering the whole page, uh, but it doesn't necessarily have to be top to bottom. It can be left to right, uh, or right to left, or bottom to top. Whatever works with you, as long as it applies and you're able to get it each groove that you cut out, or scratch out, I should say, uh, then it should be fine. Like that. Everything should be evenly coated. Okay, just gonna take out some of the extra sink there. Okay, now uh, what you want to do next is uh, let me move this over here real quick. Uh, what you want to do is Use your paper to wipe off the ink. By wiping it off, you'll be able to keep the ink that's in the lines whilst taking off the rest of the ink, which you want to be, which would be your white space. Okay, there we go. And this will take some time, uh, depending on how good you are in applying pores to take it uh, off the ink, but it does require some time and patience along with a bit of force to be able to wipe off all the ink. And as you can see, it's getting onto this paper. So I will be going at this for a good amount of time. Uh, I should have brought a trash can with me, but I'll be going through multiple pieces of paper that I have. It might be different for you, who knows? Uh, but you can try different types of uh, motions to try to get off the ink, whatever works best, like I said. Uh, and by the time I finish this process here, uh, it'll be ready to move on to paper. And I'll see you once I'm done inking. So after wiping off the ink, You'll end up with something like this. Um, as for now that I can look at it through here with the lighting, I can see that there's a little bit of blemishes around, which I will get off in just a second. But you can see the ink inside these uh, scratches here. Um, and like I said before, I'll get back to you guys when I am applying the ink to the paper. So you will grab the paper you'll be using. Uh, and we'll be coating it in water, very light spray, just to get it damp, and then you will take the excess water off with this paper towel. Like so, make sure not to get this wet. Okay, now that I have it damp or wet, I'll wipe off the excess, like so. There you go. Now this is the most important part. Now usually you would use a register with your paper. That way you can register the paper correctly with the plexiglass. That way it's even for the margins. But I do not have a register. Uh, I will be using my eyes. Uh, but it usually ends up going well for me. Uh, anyway, so you want to apply the paper on top. Make sure that you have it even. We'll be trying to even it. Be careful, you don't want to mess this up. This is the most important part. And I place it like so. Now I will apply a little bit of pressure with my hands. And this is where the spoon will be used. You will apply a circular motion with this spoon, or whatever type of motion you want, but for me, what works best is a circular motion. And by applying pressure onto the, the spoon or whatever it is you may have, you 
will in turn be getting the ink on this other side of the paper. And you don't normally want to have the paper on the plexiglass for too long because the ink will stick to it and make it a lot harder to take off, which in turn could leave some unwanted marks and or markings uh, with the ink. So for demonstration purposes, uh, if that happens, then obviously I have messed up, but hopefully that's not the case. Like that right there. Anyways, now we take it off. And this is what I ended up with. Uh, it is very light. As you can see, there's a ton of blemishes, but uh, that's where the other papers come. In cases of like this, where usually the first uh, paper done isn't always the best, it's wise to have nine other papers to have, just in case if you mess up, uh, in total having 10 papers. And from those 10 papers, you want to choose the best five. So I will be getting these 10 papers done. And out of those 10, I will be choosing one. So out of the 10 I made, I had one where there is a little bit of uh, mishaps, but overall, I think it is a really good uh, addition. I did, in some uh, other papers, add two colors, uh, blue and black, with some being just blue by itself and others being black. This one, I decided to do blue and black, a mixture. Uh, so here it is. As you can see, it's just like the, the stencil there. You can see it. You can see all the, the cuts in it. Uh, and obviously, label your, I don't know if you can see there, label your vision properly with your, how many or which one it is out of the five, the name of it in the middle, and on the right corner, have your name and the year. Now all that's left is to clean up, which in my case, is very simple, and throw it in the trash. Anyways, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and this demo, and I hope you learned a thing or two from me. Um, thank you for watching.